As of September 2024, there are over 13,000 employees at SpaceX, from engineers to board members. But there's one woman who sticks out from the rest. The 11th employee of SpaceX, Gwen Shotwell, joined them in 2002 after holding two previous roles at Chrysler, which she left as she didn't find the work interesting, after which she ventured into the aerospace industry, working at the Aerospace Corporation, conducting work on the military space research and development contract, during which she had the chance to work on the space shuttle flight STS-139. In 1998, she left them to become the director of space systems at Microcosm, a relatively small rocket company. But Shotwell hadn't always wanted to hold a career in the space or engineering industry. She remembers watching the Apollo 11 mission on TV when she was younger and recalls finding it boring and having no interest in it at all. Her first spark of interest in engineering was when her mother took her to a panel at the Illinois Institute of Technology, held by the Society of Women Engineers. At that specific event, there was a mechanical engineer who owned her own company, which inspired Shotwell to pursue studying engineering. The name of the exact engineer is unknown, but Shotwell remembers, quote, I loved her suit. She went to Northwestern University and received a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, and later, after she left Chrysler, a Master of Science degree in Applied Mathematics. Shotwell recalls that she was one of three women out of 36 mechanical engineering undergrads. In 2002, she was introduced to SpaceX CEO Elon Musk by a colleague she had previously worked with at Microcosm, Hans Konigsmann, who went on to become VP of Flight Reliability for SpaceX. During her first meeting with Elon Musk, she impressively convinced him that he needed to hire someone to work full-time on their business development, but did not plan to join SpaceX until two weeks later when she took a job offer for that specific role in September of 2002. She was at the company for six years when she was promoted in late 2002 and became SpaceX president. This was due to the role she played in the negotiations of the first $1.6 billion commercial resupply services contract, which SpaceX won after the fourth and first successful launch of the Falcon 1, SpaceX's first rocket. Without this contract from NASA, SpaceX would have gone bankrupt. During her time as SpaceX president, she has overseen the exponential growth of the Falcon rocket family, taking the cadence from zero launches a year to over 100 launches in 2024, with more to come. Apart from her work with increasing cadence for the Falcon rocket family, she has played a huge role in the overall success of the company, including acquiring a 20-year lease of historic launch complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, previously used by the Saturn V and Space Shuttle. In 2018, she was listed in America's Top 50 Women in Tech, then again in 2021 in 50 Over 50 Vision, and again in 2023 in Power Women at number 28, and again in 2024 at number 36 in America's Self-Made Women. Shotwell is a huge inspiration and SpaceX would not be where it is today without her.